Exercise 1a. Calculate if possible the limit from x to 1 of x squared plus x minus 2 x to the power 3 minus x squared minus x plus 1 without the use of L'Hopital's rule. Well, what we see, if we rewrite this fraction, then we see that the denominator goes to 0 and the numerator goes to 0. So what we actually see is that we can factorize both the numerator and numerator, and we can take out the linear term x minus 1. This gives the following expression. Yeah, above we see x minus 1, x plus 2, and in the numerator we get x minus 1 times x squared minus 1. So x minus 1 cancels out. Yeah, because if we take limits, we assume implicitly that x t does not assume the value x is 1. So we can rewrite the limit as follows. So again, we write the limit from x, x to 1, x plus 2 divided by x squared minus 1. We see that the denominator goes to 3 and x squared minus 1 goes to zero. So the limit, we can, can immediately tell that the limit cannot exist. Can we say anything about direction? Well, let us approach one from the right, indicated by one plus. Then we still see that the numerator is larger than zero and approaches zero. So 3 divided by almost 0 is plus infinity. And if we approach x uh, uh, 1 from the left, we see that we get 3 divided by 0 minus 1 is minus infinity. So we don't have any further information than that. The value of the limit.